Hello Scorpio, welcome to your weekly love readings with me, Eva Spirit. Let's get started. Messages for the Scorpio Collective, please, regarding love for January the 20th to the 27th, 2022. <sighs> Scorpio. Thank you. Oh, okay. Let's take a look here. Mm, okay, first card we've got is the Fool. I feel this is your energy here, Scorpio, this week. I feel that you are wanting to have a new beginning of some sort. I'm also hearing the guide say you actually want to break free. Um, I'm hearing the word suffocated. So I feel that perhaps you have been involved in some sort of connection. Now this could be the other way around as well, but someone definitely is feeling suffocated. Uh, somebody feels that they've, uh, like it's almost like spending, spending too much time together to the point where it's like, I need my own space. I need to do my own thing. Um, it, I'm hearing that it's not necessarily saying, meaning that it's the end of a connection, but um, t yeah, too much too soon. Something went really fast and it's almost like there, there hasn't been enough time in the recently to tend to other things, uh, tend to your other crops, so to speak. And I'm really getting sort of like on a friendship level, like maybe, you know, you've, you've been with someone you know spending so much time with someone that you haven't had a lot of time to your friends and maybe your friends have said something or, or vice versa um could also be with family as well but there's just there's just this feeling of ah, i i need i need self-care time I, I need to i need my own time i need to do me and just focus on myself this week um uh, i'm also hearing the word you want to explore something okay so maybe you've had i'm um, hearing journaling maybe you've been journaling maybe you've been just pondering certain things and there's a feeling here of just okay the guides are saying wanting to get a breather uh, the next card we've got is the hierophant in reverse so immediately when i touch this card i'm getting a message here about something going too quickly it's like um it's almost like you know you like the person or they like you and and there's definitely interest there and and it's it's we've got a good thing going but let's not run before we can walk let's not rush this i want to take the time to get to know you now again this could be the way you're feeling it could be the way the other person is feeling the next card we've got is the four of pentacles so when i'm touching this card i'm getting a message here about what uh, someone wanting to hold on to you now remember of course it can be the other way around somebody's wanting to hold on to someone here somebody's um afraid that if they it's almost like um, the guides are giving me that saying when you give an inch they take a mile it's sort of like someone's afraid to uh let you go to do your own thing because they're afraid that you'll you'll never come back now of course no one gets to decide if you go and do your own thing that's within your own decisions there but you know what i mean it's just sort of like someone's afraid of it because they to sort of say yes you know that it's fine for them i think deep down someone's feeling like it's not okay because I feel sad about it, but what can I do? Yeah, somebody just wants to take space. Somebody just wants to take a breather this week. Scorpio. And I'm getting actually that it could be good for your relationship. Six of Swords, uh, moving on to a better place. So it's not, I'm, I'm not getting it's necessarily the relationship, it's, or it's not personal at least. It's just that, there's something about it that's that's there's something about the situation or the circumstances that make you feel that you need a break here um yeah just sort of like constricted maybe again going too fast the next kind of got that's come out is the five of cups now i'm getting a message here that now this won't be for all of you but somebody may be feeling like a bit of a debbie downer right uh, I don't mean any offense by that, but that's just sort of the vibe that I'm getting where uh, I'm getting a message also that somebody may be talking a lot about an ex and somebody may be talking a lot about the past or past relationships. And it's just kind of getting to the point where it's like, you know what? I need a break. I think, you know, I respect you, but you need to figure that sort of thing out. I don't really want to be dragged into it. I don't really want to be involved. Um, yeah. Next kind we've got is the nine of wands. Uh, somebody's not really interested in... <sighs> putting their energy into it 
And I'm not getting that it's necessarily the whole relationship, the relationship as a whole. It's this aspect or this area. It's almost like, you know, two people can really be into each other and like each other or even love each other. But in the end, it, you know, we have to fight our own battles or we have to work on our own inner demons and our own things. And, you know, nobody can really do that for us. So maybe that's why you are just wanting to do your own thing, because maybe you need to work on that or you recognize that your person of interest is wanting to do that, is, is needs to do that. And so you just feel like, well, I'll just embrace the full energy and do my own thing um, in the meantime. All right, Scorpio, that's what I got for you. I wish you all the best with that. Please like, share, comment and subscribe if you resonate with my work. And all additional information, including personal readings, will be down below in the description box. Thank you so much. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.